Hey, good afternoon, YouTubers. Uh, here I have a Sterling walking beam engine. The basis for this design, I got it from the internet and uh, from a paper from uh, Daryl Boyd. And this paper is from 2003. And, uh, but I have a lot of fun you know, converting all this dimension in uh, Fusion 360 to get my uh, Sterling engine pretty much as per her his design. And this was crucial to get uh, all this information. And I will put the link where you can get this uh, piece of information, which is very good. And But I was very interested on the timing and uh and this was all that i the piece that i was missing for a little while and but i got it from this paper so uh and the idea is this basically if i go back to fusion and uh you can see now for example let me go very quickly here uh oh i still have the motion still on let me let me run it from here this is a lot easier and I and you can adjust the speed uh, let's see so it's gonna be a, a round from 0 to 360 or 350 359 so it started zero again so let's run it uh, actually let's run this that's way too fast let's put it slow so it makes a lot of sense what's going on <coughs> And uh, it's turning in the right, correct direction. I would not say right direction <laughs> because it's turning uh, to the left, but it's turning right. <laughs> in, in other words, it's doing what it's supposed to. Uh, basically, uh, I would say that it seems like a, there's a 90 degree difference between what's going on here. Although I'm a, uh, that might be a little confusing where the 90 come from. But you can see that the in the flywheel I, we have a pin that is connected to the walk to the walking beam and it's also connected to uh, the piston to the power piston and uh, so I haven't put the lead at the top here uh, just because uh, it's easy to see the displacer moving up and down and uh, you can see oops let's see right there you can see the displacer coming down I'm moving up and down and there is uh, a hole right here where these two pi connect and they're this this I mean these are not two pi actually these are um, uh, tin can according to Boyle so I took his uh, dimensions uh, from his paper and uh, they are right here which is kind of nice uh, you see the diameter of this tin can and the length of that tin can and uh, and that's for the displacer this is the displacer cylinder and inside you put uh, a tomato uh, a tomato can and like this which is a slightly the diameter is slightly smaller but it will make uh, it will make for a good displacer because the gap is it's about less than I would say within few millimeters and, and that's good so uh, this is uh, sort of like a schematic of how that will looks like obviously I haven't worked all these details here which are very important to maintain uh, this seal this proper seal here but it's more like so you guys can watch what is actually happening within this guy within the displacer uh, anything else here that I should talk about it a little bit more uh, maybe let's slow this down actually uh, let's see now that we're still on this let's expedite this let's put this faster uh, well that's fast enough it's hard to watch what's going on when it goes too fast but it looks nice and uh, Fusion 360 on this kind of a design work perfect it's not like when i rely on contact that's another story uh, it get crazy very very confusing how fusion 360 behave with contact uh, I don't know. but this is perfect this type of joint perfect everything move the way sure as long as it's everything is well aligned 
so I went to install these like you know like I were building this equipment you know from the base up so like for example you put the base you put this uh, uh, this beam for the for the flywheel you put the other the, the other beam for the walking beam and so forth so you go along the final final connection that I did was this one this was the final and it's kind of weird if you take a look at it let's see let's get this bigger and let's turn around so you can tell that that was kind of weird you see because there was some misalignment and uh, I have to improvise and get that connection there to get that right so with that said I mean you know you have to be very careful so in other words you install everything until the last one and that was the last one and that last one took me a little while to figure it out how to properly do it so I get the right connection there uh, again uh, everything is from this paper you can read it I did got you know pretty much got the idea from this paper uh, I took I took the liberty sometime like for example uh, instead of doing uh, the power piston as suggested by the paper I did it differently I'm more used to, to steam engine design so I I be I you know I construct that like a steam engine so this rod is kind of a connected directly with the piston the way it is and uh, like a power engine that's what I did basically like a steam engine sorry like a steam engine now uh, let me cancel this for one second and uh, very important is check the rotation I got uh, originally I got the rotation wrong so I have to do here and as build joint and fix it until I got it right but this was turning the other way it was turning uh, this way and that would not work and I'll tell you why for example let's get here uh, that's where the this guy is at its maximum distance the power piston is at maximum distance now uh, the this is turning this way so as soon as it's turned this way the air that is hot here because that's where you put the candle or whatever you want to put down here the fire that hot air will start to move up through the walls because this displacer is loosely fit within the I mean the this can displacer is loosely fit within the cylinder there's a lot of space well not that there's a lot but there's a gap and and the air will start to come out uh, to the top and obviously I didn't install the lid here because I want to I want you know I want to see what's going on so but the air will be cool up here there's another can here a reservoir of cold water that would cool that air as that air is getting cold uh, the pressure gets smaller not a vacuum I would not say that it's a vacuum I doubt it that it's a vacuum but uh, the pressure is you know low enough that will allow if I put this right if I put this right it will allow for uh, a lower pressure for the so that the piston the power piston can go down without much trouble until you get right to the bottom at the bottom here we go you see at the bottom now the uh, in this case the displacer this guy here will start to go up and now after this go up the air that is kind of cold down here it will go down to get hot and that when it get hot it gets expanded so that allows the piston to go to push the piston back and and so the flywheel whoops wrong direction this direction you see and that's the proper direction of that timing wise just to you know do I did I like uh, uh, Mr. Boyle suggested right from this page here at the end timing wise this is it when you put all this together this is what you do three o'clock um, between the uh, walking beam and flywheel and the power piston is to the 
uh, you know, pretty much to the rim of the cylinder piston. And this is right at the middle. That's it. Uh, that's what I did. And everything seems to be working fine. So let's go back here again to the simulation. And uh, let's do as a final thing. Let's do this fast. I like s motion study. How about this join? And the last one, um, one three fifty nine, three fifty nine. There we go. And so three fifty nine. When I hit here, it will be zero, and it will start. So it's gonna cycle. Excellent. There we go. Then you have it. Nice. Uh, walking Bean Sterling engine. I can do very fast now. And my machine, which is a laptop, uh, is a core with a Core i5 B Pro. Uh, uh, it's doing okay. I would say kind of fast a little bit faster maybe the resolution is not good enough I can see the power piston and the displacer and the walking beam doing his stuff um, faster well I could there uh, it's way too fast nothing is really happening it's slightly less than that and uh, I guess it's way too fast a um, little bit less actually it is here when you really like it I, it's kind of funny it looked like one of those uh, petroleum pump in Texas uh, slowly get it done easy well that's basically it folks um, I s you know I put together uh, how I build this and uh, I'm debating myself whether I will should edit that video. I, I'm not ex an expert on Fusion 360. Sometimes I start something and then I said, mm, that's not right. Like, for example, I don't know why I got here. Uh, I fixed that. But so I got to go back and fix and do it right. But again, so I have the as bill of these, you know, how I put to this together. If I get at least five or six people requesting me to put that to, you know, like upload that to YouTube, I will do so. So I would take the, you know, that in consideration that there are some people that would like to see how I put this together and I will do so. Only five people. That's good enough for me uh, because I have it. It's just that I, I need to edit that and... Uh, and when you start to edit something, it takes a while. So, but so far I like it. It, it is decent. This is one of the, those uh, things that I might uh, might do myself, you know, put it together. Now that I fully understand uh, using Fusion 360, what this Sterling, this Sterling engine is all about and what are the parts that I need to be very careful when I put it together. But so far, uh, it looks great. That's it. Uh, again. In breaking news. Um, I took a few seconds and tried to identify everything that was wood versus anything else that is metal. Like, for example, everything is wood uh, except for the connecting rods and and so forth this is this part here could be wood i made it kind of a sort of like a metal because it's going to be very close to the fire so anyway uh you do whatever you want to do but at the end i i kind of like it it get got pretty look kind of uh i don't know look kind of decent 
the way it end up. I never thought I'm gonna get this pretty. So, but that's that's the thing. I mean, you that's the thing with fusion. You start messing around with fusion instead of uh, you know uh, getting uh, with a hammer and try to hammer things out. Uh, I I'd rather do this so that I clear have a clear understanding of what's happening. So when I go and construct this, it will be kind of a, you know, I would not say easy, but you know what to ex you know you expect uh, uh, situation. You are you are you are kind of well prepared to get your job done. So uh, this is it. This is it. As I always said, be safe whatever be your final destination. Have fun, my friend. Bye.